Hello everyone, this is Twins on Wheel. Thank you for subscribing and continue to subscribe. And today we want to talk to you about accessibility and some good experiences and bad experiences that we've had. One time when we went to a restaurant, the ballet parking did not want to give us the parking or they wanted to give us a hard time. And there were a lot of people that had understand our situation and there are a lot of people that don't. Anyway, what what Alberta is saying about we we've had so many good experiences but the people that go out of their way go the ex to help us be able to get in and out of the aisles or in and out of parking and uh, what you need to explain a little bit anybody we need it's uh, we need a certain amount of space and uh, the parking sign for accessible is the blue the blue uh, sign on the floor and the blue sign you need a certain amount of space but recently when we went to a restaurant the valet employees did not want to give us the accessible parking and on top of that did not want to move a car that was parked illegally and did not have the the accessible sign that for parking on their windshield so the car was illegally parked and when when mom explained that to him he refused to move the car and give us the parking and and the people at the inside this restaurant are always very nice but we want to use these this experiences to call on authorities when, uh, to be more aware and to enforce we we have we have the accessible parking sticker those of us who need accessible parking have the accessible parking sticker for a reason if uh, uh, we cannot get out in the middle of the street because the way the valet park drivers wanted us to get out could be dangerous for us because where he wanted us to get out, the chairs could tip over when they turn and come off the ramp. We need open space in order to move around and you can, we cannot do that in the middle of the street. And anybody who has seen a ramp and an accessible vehicle knows that you need a lot of space. But when you're not aware, uh, you need to be open to understanding. Right, Alberto, that we cannot, those of us who have the accessible sticker, we cannot park wherever you want us to park. We can only park where we can let the ramp out. 
Yes, because like you said, our chairs can tilt and it can be very dangerous for our lives. And owners of businesses, be aware of the people that you have working to make sure that they do the right thing. And, and we want to also talk to authorities because uh, yeah, we, know, we know that there are laws to enforce this and we want to, we speak about our experiences so that um, law enforcement and people, uh, people in charge of enforcing the law stay on top of this because it is very uncomfortable and it is, it's not necessary and there are many nice people. There are people that go out of their way, Alberto, and we've been to many restaurants where people are very nice and whenever mom or anybody with us talks about parking the car they don't give any problems but then there are these people who think that they know better than the person who needs access accessibility and they uh, they they are very disrespectful to our mom, to us, or to anybody who needs accessible parking. You need those people who are like that shouldn't be working with the public because you make it, it's a very negative experience when you don't know how to interact and you don't know human values, right, Alberto? Yes. And and the valet parking person, when my mother told him the situation, he said, he spoke back to her and said that he didn't care what she was saying and that she can call the cops if she wanted to. So yes, he was daring to call the cops and then these are experiences that we know that there are laws in place, Alberto, and we, we don't use these experiences to get upset, but we want to inform people in law enforcement that there's a, there's a lot of things that go out there that you just need to be more aware, and we hope that this experience opens the eyes of many owners or shopping centers, wherever the, they are. Because anybody who, uh, who has the sticker is, uh, is eligible to park there. If you don't have the sticker, you cannot just park there, it's illegal, and we know the law, we know right now, well, I don't know now, but I know many months ago, mom found out that it's a very expensive $500, and I think even more, ticket, and people, people don't care because they think we don't know and we cannot speak up, so we encourage anybody who has the right for accessible parking and the right to, to park in an accessible spot to speak up whenever you are not, uh, you are not given access because if we stay quiet, we're just letting them do it to the next person. This is not about giving the tip. This is about 
doing the right thing and giving equal access to whoever needs it. Now, we also have, have had some good experiences where we have gone bowling and people have been kind and understanding of our situation and they even ask mom what we need and sometimes they are so generous that they don't even want to charge and we're not asking anybody to feel sorry for us we're not asking anything anybody to give us anything we're just asking people to do the right thing and we are speaking up so that it doesn't happen to the next person and for, so that those of us who need who need this accessibility know how to speak up for our rights and so that we show people that don't understand that we're not afraid to speak up and that we know our rights and for those of us who can't speak up if you have a friend a son or a daughter or a sibling speak up for them don't stay quiet and go to the next parking space. Uh, speak up because if you stay quiet and move on because you're embarrassed or you don't want to embarrass somebody that put themselves in that situation, you're just letting them do it to the next person and you're showing you're showing them that it's okay what they're doing or you're making them believe that it's okay to treat anyone like that and we use this video so that people understand that that's not the case and we do understand our rights right alberta yes and we we don't we don't want to be judging to anybody, but we just want to call out for awareness. We, we, we are entitled to the same rights as anybody else. So that's something all of us should remember and we're calling on authority figures to look out for people that are breaking the law. And, uh, and with this, we want to tell everyone to God bless you all and continue to subscribe to our channel and like our videos. Share our videos as well and leave a comment. Thank you and we love you. God bless you all.